Okay, how how are you doing? Let's see how this goes. This is um, the first time that I uh, dress up for one of these problems, but you know, we all res this it deserves some respect. So let's see. In this problem, um, Dan is gliding on his skateboard at four meters per second, and he suddenly jumps backwards. Um, off the skateboard, kicking the skateboard forward at 8 meters per second. Let's see. Yeah, I'll get rid of the glare in a little bit. So, yeah, I think the skateboard should be black. Yeah. Kind of like that. And then, uh, I think that should be blue. Right? Kind of like that. And so, he kicks the blackboard in front and he moves backward and so I guess then this arrow should be blue, I mean green and kind of black. And so we can write down the numbers if we, if we really want. So initial velocity of Dan uh, on the skateboard is uh, 4 meters per second. Um, so after he kicks the skateboard, the velocity of the skateboard is 8 meters per second. How fast is Dan going as his feet hit the ground? So essentially his, uh, we're assuming that all of this is a horizontal motion. So what is his horizontal speed right after? Um, just before touching the ground, Dan's mass is 50 kilograms only. So, let's can you do it? And the skateboard's mass is 5 kilograms. So, you know, kind of a heavy skateboard, maybe a professional one. Um, so the answer the, for Dan's uh, speed final uh, is 2.6 meters per second. All right, so let's uh, think through this problem a little bit. The main concept that you have to use is conservation of momentum. Momentum P is a vector. And uh, if you look at it, it's a little bit like uh, force. Except that instead of having an, an acceleration here, uh, you have the velocity. It's still a vector. This one is conserved, this one is not. But for this one, whenever there's an action, there's a reaction. Um, with this one too, actually, because if you take um, the derivative of the velocity with respect to time, so here will be the derivative with respect to time of the momentum, this is equal to mass times acceleration. And so force is equal to the change in momentum with respect to time. And this is a more general definition actually because uh, we haven't seen the mass changing, at least not much, in this, in this course, but it can change um, just as the acceleration can change. And so the force will change. So yeah, that's good to know. This is the uh, oh, times the mass. This is kind of the oh, that's already included in the in the moment. So this is the main definition, um, or the, the more general definition of force. So momentum is always conserved. We are extremely sure about that as physicists. Uh, it has been tested 
um, continuously, and it is in fact um, you know believed to be so fundamental that when a theory doesn't agree with the conservation of momentum, you'll kind of change the theory, however good or bad that is. So you have to divide. These problems, you, you always divide them into, or more if necessary, but two is minimum. And you look at what is the momentum before in the system, and what is the momentum after. And then you have to consider everything that you have, like every mass that you have in your system. In this case, you have the mass of Dan, the mass of the um, um, what was it? Escape. Yeah. Um, he's a skater. So the board and um, you have a velocity, and because they are together. This velocity is the same actually. So let's call it just V naught. But remember, Vs is equal to Vd is equal to V naught. On this side, you still have the mass of Dan and the mass of the skate. The skateboard. Uh, but the velocities are now different because he jumped off. So the velocity of Dan is 8 meters per second. We have it right here. The masses don't change. Um, so we can write this as, because they have the same velocity, mass of Dan plus mass of skateboard times initial velocity equals mass of Dan final velocity of Dan plus mass of the skateboard times final velocity of the skateboard this is just one equation that makes it pretty simple you know that momentum before is equal to momentum after, that is conservation of energy. So these two guys are equal. You have this velocity, you have these two masses, you have the final velocity of Dan. So the only thing that you're missing is this final velocity of the skateboard. Uh, oh, sh sorry, this is the final velocity of Dan. Uh, the final velocity the skateboard is 8 meters per second, it's what you have. Yeah. Just make them birds. Small, small mistakes, just make them birds. Okay, um... So, we are looking for this final velocity of n. Well, you know, that's kind of pretty simple. We have MD plus MS divided by V naught. And then you subtract this dude over here. Find the velocity of uh oh, sorry, this is the velocity of escape. Initial Dan plus a skateboard, which is equal to peanut over here. Okay, so we have everything. So we subtract this uh, term over here, and then we divide by the mass of Dan. And we end 
that weight final velocity of that. And so it is very important to remember that these guys are vectors. So maybe we can rearrange it algebraically a little. This will be M B V naught plus M S V naught minus M S E F. All of that divided by M B. Mm. Doesn't look much better actually. So let's just plug in the numbers. Mass of them, 50 kilograms, skinny dude. Mass of um, the skateboard, 5 kilograms. Mass of the skateboard, again, I'm going to get rid of this equation. Numbers five kilograms and the velocity of the skateboard eight meters per second. And we divide all of that by the mass of that. So units, you have kilograms here, multiply times meter, divided by second, divided by kilograms, you get rid of the kilograms, you have meters per second, which is good, because this is a velocity, over here, kilograms and kilograms, kilogram meter per second, divided by kilogram. Rid of them, you end up with meters per second, which is good because this is a velocity, so that's what you're looking for, and it's also consistent with the other term, so good job. Um, so this is 55, and where's my calculator? This one should have been a negative. I don't know why I put it as positive. Maybe I have to restart this whole thing. I wanted to have some more mistakes, but no. Like that. So this is 5 times 8. 40 divided by 50. That's 0 0.8. You end up with 4.4 .4 minus 0 0.8, 3.6 meters per second, the original. Um, the original, well, the answer that we have for this problem. Okay. So just wrap up because I did meander way too much. problem in which momentum is conserved, you are given uh, 
two masses and two velocities and they tell you that this velocity is the same for than the than initial um, skateboard initial let's just call it V initial which is 4 meters per second um, mass of than is 50 kilograms mass of the skateboard is 5 kilograms the final velocity of the skateboard in the positive direction is 8 meters per second so you write down your box I kind of like to do this momentum is conserved so the terms that you have on this side mass of dan v naught plus mass of the skateboard v naught equals mass final of dan velocity final of dan plus mass of the skateboard oh, this is, the mass is the same fine mass of that mass of the skateboard velocity final of the skateboard uh, these two are the same so we can just do this mass of then plus mass of the skateboard and to be not equals and here they are all different so mass of then velocity final of then plus mass of the skateboard velocity final of the skateboard we are looking for the final velocity of then so we have to solve this equation for this term so we have MD plus NS times V naught divided minus uh, minus this term mass of the skateboard final velocity of the skateboard all of these divided by mass of ten okay so we're talking the numbers we have fifty kilograms plus five kilograms divided by 50 kilograms so this is just that ratio times the initial velocity four meters per second minus because you had the positive word here mass uh, of the skateboard is five kilograms Final velocity of the skateboard is 8 meters per second, and the mass of that is 50 kilograms. So, when you solve for each of these terms, this one gave you a 4.4 meters per second, and this one gave you a 0 0.8 meters per second, so that's 3.6 meters per second. And what is very interesting, very important to notice is that this velocity is positive. So uh, if you are Dan, then you are not moving relative to the skateboard. You jump and you feel like you have a negative velocity and you know, the, the skateboard just continues moving. But if you're an external observer, what you see is that both are moving with the same velocity and when uh, Dan jumps uh, he's still moving in the positive direction just not as much as the skateboard so uh, he's still moving 3.6 meters per second in the positive direction but now because he's moving that 0.4 less meter per second that momentum has to go somewhere and it goes to the to the velocity of the skateboard so the skateboard because it has less mass 
instead of moving at four meters per second, now it's now it is now moving at eight meters per second. So the motion is more like this, right? So that's why you keep your negative in there. All right. So let's take a look at the at the next problem. <coughs> 